You might be wondering why am I standing in snow and why are there a bunch of trucks behind me? Well, I'm out here in Norway with Scania and we'll be checking out some of their fully electric solutions. They're quite intriguing. So we're going to step right inside the cabin and talk to one of the instructors. So I'm now in the cabin with Marius, who's going to be explaining some of the functionalities of this fully electric Scania. So Marius, um, tell me a little bit more about it. Um, I guess we should first go and drive and then yeah, so if you get it in drive, you just push the button forward. Yep. And you push it in the brake. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, that's... yeah. and then it And just we're good to drive. drive. Yeah. Just like any electric car. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, I think we're good to go. Hopefully, we don't run over some that person over there. So, yeah, so if you could explain a little bit more about the, the powertrain of this electric truck, that would be really appreciated. Yeah, it's a truck with uh, it's nine batteries. Okay. And uh, 600 uh, volts, mm -hmm. and you get uh, it's 300, 300 uh, kilowatts hours. Okay. And you get the transmission on 230 kilowatts. Okay. It's a on uh, normal uh, the actual the rear actually is from uh, like a normal truck. Okay. So it's the same, and uh, this one uh, is a uh, tip, so we get the, the electric uh, hydraulic also amazing okay so yeah. from my understanding um with diesel trucks where you've got the power generation for let's say for example the tipping function mm. here this is being also used the part of the electric or well, the battery is also yeah, being used for the tipping only function. engine that is electric got it okay so um and then in terms of where the motor is placed could you explain to some of the people watching us like where mm. where, where the, the engine is standing uh, in the middle of the car okay in the frame in the middle, so uh, it's a uh, like a normal diesel truck is under the cabin, but yep. there the engine and the uh, engine and uh, the gearbox is the same. Fine, okay. And so it's standing in the middle. So okay, so in, in terms of the weight distribution, the yeah. center of gravity I can assume is a bit more further down to the ground. Yeah. Okay. And uh, under a cabin is one of the battery and the main uh, boxes to Good. the electric uh, system. Got it. Okay. Um, got, uh, the batteries on the outside of the frame on the, uh, both sides. Got it. Okay. Um, and then in terms of the battery configurations, I, I presume I think if I'm not mistaken, you can get larger battery configurations in with with the truck. I mean, I know this is the urban truck, but then you guys are also looking to develop one of the yeah, longer hauling ones. The, yeah, the new one. Yeah. The same uh, truck we have here is a battery. Is uh, that's the, the new one. New one, okay. Yeah, it's a bigger battery and a uh, bigger engine. Bigger engine. Mm. So I can say I've I've only driven two of your trucks before over here, mm. but I'm definitely not a truck driver. But I can say this is really easy to drive. Yeah, it's easy and it's Very quiet. Easy. And, uh, it, it's uh, honestly really surprising as mm. to how quiet it is. It's, yeah. I mean, I was ex half expecting to to hear a little bit more like rattling or something like that, but. Mm. Yeah, it's it's super quiet. Yeah, and in, in in that respect, do you think truck drivers are going to enjoy the quietness rather than hearing like let's say the engine and um, all the other bits and yeah. bobs of a of a truck going around? Do you think they'll they'll enjoy a bit more of a quieter cabin um, for shorter or longer distances? Yeah, the, um, the driver in uh, Oslo, okay. they, uh, they would just want to drive the electric. Right. When they uh, okay. begin to drive it, they just don't want don't want to stop. Really? Wow. Yeah, they don't like the diesel or the gas engines. Wow. They're, I mean, they're happy about it. So I mean, in Norway, you guys are pioneering yeah. electric vehicles. To be yeah. honest with you, the whole infrastructure with the government as well, with the yeah, incentives, yeah. it makes it a lot, um, a lot nicer. Yeah. So. So the, the driver is. Uh, they are very happy about it. Very happy. Yeah. yeah. And here, I, I remember going with the other truck as well. It's like. You got loads of bumps, and yeah. then it, I know it seems like maybe on video it's it's showing a little bit of <laughs> jumping around, but actually in terms of comfort, my seat yeah. is super cushiony soft, and then you guys have got, if I'm not mistaken, um, um, a cushion suspension. Yeah, it's a uh, it's air suspension. Air suspension in, and uh, in the seats. In, uh, in the seats as well. Yeah, just makes for a really nice driving yeah. experience. Yeah. <laughs> it's very uh, comfort. Very so. yeah. yeah. And then, um, in terms of um, the, the vehicles, 
like the rest of the things that let's say someone's going to want so for example I don't know like the instrument cluster and the infotainment system is that the same as what the, as someone would expect in terms of like if they're scanning a customer and coming to this would yeah. they expect the same? It is the same uh, with the diesel and uh, everything okay. the difference is just uh, where you have the, the RPM uh, the just, indicator uh, yeah yeah it's like the um uh, the regenerative braking as well which yeah. comes into effect um, yeah then you can see in the display. on the yeah, yeah it's pulling it back which yeah. is yeah it, it's it's it, i know i'm accustomed to it from seeing from electric vehicles but mm. actually seeing it on a truck is actually something else yeah <laughs> so in terms of yeah the the the, the regenerative braking there um it's being effective from you know, which portion of the truck where is it trying to recoup energy um, the most, do you know if it's from the front or towards the back? Uh, it's the back, yeah. The back, okay. Yeah. I guess that's also part due to the placement of the electric motor, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect. And one final question. How was my truck driving? It's good. It's good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think about that you're not a truck driver. Oh really? Yeah. Wow, that's that's a real good compliment. <laughs> yeah. I can't, yeah, I can't stress that enough. But yeah, I mean, yeah. it's so easy to drive. If yeah. anyone can drive it. Um, yeah. I mean, I know we're in like a test environment here, yeah. but you know, it, in the real world, I, I, I don't feel like spatial awareness and anything like that would yeah. be too hard. But the electric is uh, very, it's very easy to drive also. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about loads but, of like yeah, yeah, but, uh, things going around. Um, I even got a five star rating. I think yeah. that's for the, my uh, my EV driving, right? Yeah. So yeah. It's saying how well <laughs> yeah. in terms of the EV. But yeah, it's so simple. Yeah. Right? Uh, Do a pull it. Yeah. That's the parking brake in case yeah. people are wondering. But yeah, it's just so easy and so quiet and yeah really really impressed yeah so yeah thank you so much for explaining it and letting me drive this truck <laughs> yeah. i really appreciate no it so there we have it a little brief insight as to what scania provides when it comes to their e-trucks we've been intrigued to know what you make of it down in the comment section below and of course if you've liked this video definitely do consider dropping a like subscribing and of course hitting that bell notification i've been chris from totally ev and i'll hopefully see you in the next one take care of yourselves and goodbye